Well, hello everyone. Um, my name is Miss Charity with Girls Inc. of Memphis. I'm super excited that you have joined me today. And I know you saw what was in my hand, which was money, money. Today, we're gonna be talking about paper money. And not just um, the kind I have, but the kind you take to the store, to the mall, and shop. I'm gonna be talking about that today, ladies. So, talking about money. It's similar to the coins, coins, coins video. So if you haven't checked that one out, um, definitely look out, um, look for that one as well. Um, Cause we'll be talking about both, the kind that make noise and the kind that votes. So stay tuned. Before we get started, let me tell you the material you'll need today. Um, if you have some bills or your parents have some bills, X, don't just take, um, can you use them? So you'll need dollar bill. See if they have a $5 bill. $10 bill. dollar bill if they have a hundred dollar bill if not we'll just talk about it if they have a fifty dollar bill um if not um again we're gonna definitely talk about it magnifying glass definitely definitely need our magnifying glass a pencil or a pen and some paper i always need i'm trying to check to see my Paperwork. Mm -hmm. I mean, my pen work. So definitely some paper. So I'll give you, as always, a few minutes to gather your material, um, and then we'll jump right into it. So I'll just give you. Make sure you ask your parents. Don't just go on in their belongings to get anything. Make sure you ask, communicate um, with them what you need it for. Say so you're doing a session. Um, you will return it, ladies. I don't know. <laughs> not keeping it. We're not gonna spend it. None that we're just using it. Um, little fun educational purposes. So we're gonna give it back. Give it back. Make sure you put that cherry on top. Give it back. All right. Just give you a few more. Then we will start, start, start. Then we will start, start, start. So again, we will be talking about money, the paper money, um, and then the values. So, I know last time we talked about coins. Um, this is a way to, again, ha have money, but it not weigh as much. So, you either have dollar bill or 100 pennies. Or imagine if you had a $100 bill that would be a 400 quarters. So you see how they the same, but they just weigh a little different. It's a, it's a weigh a lot. Um, it doesn't matter, there's like five pounds of coins in your pocket. So it's a way to have um, money, but it not weigh as much um, in your purse, in your pocket, um, in your wallet, in your sock, you know, different places. So have you ever held a bill in your hand um, for those who just got um, money from their parents or from their piggy bank or you know wherever touch it feel it you know look at it um where did you get it um let me know um where you got the money from where you got your material from did you get it um, from your parents did you get it from the piggy bank um did you find it in the sofa you know let me know where you get um, your material from for today. And then what do you plan on doing with it? You know, let me know. Let me know if you're saving it up for something, you know, what are you using your money for? Next, if you have your magnifying glass, um, we're going to be using it to examine each, um, money. If not, 
Oh, faithful eyes. You know, they work. We got, you, just, you just zoom in. Um, so it's a Bible using through the literally three things. I like got my contacts in, my eyes, the good lighting, and then my magnifying glass. So I got triple right now. So I want you to just take one of the corn, uh, one of the bills. So we'll start off with just a dollar bill. And then I want you to look, look at it. And then what is one thing you see when you look at the bill? So let me use my magnifying glass because you know, my son's kind of kind of leaving me on this uh, bright day. So and I just want you to just tell me one thing. You know, it could be, you know, a lot of things going on, but I just want you to tell me one thing that you notice on here. Okay. If you've already seen the coins or you're familiar, uh, one thing that I'm noticing is that it has the same in God we trust. Um, I, I remember when I did the coin activity, um, I remember seeing that word a lot. So it's kind of cool to see that they're using some of the same, excuse me, I'm so sorry. They're using some of the same phrases on there um, as well as um, I see they have a face on here as well, like the coins have um, a face or head. Um, I think that's that's pretty cool. So that's a lot of, uh, that's a second uh, similarity I see. Hmm. And then can anybody tell me the face that's on this one? No, make sure y'all can see it good. Tell me the face that's on this one. That's right. All right, ladies. I see y'all came prepared. You know, got your material. Um, did a little uh, search. But yes, it is George Washington. Um, um, he's the first president. It might tell me the value, you know, because it's similar to the coin activity. What's the value of this one? Yep, one. Big indicator um, on there. And so, worth one dollar. Let's go to the next one, which is our five dollar bill because you're going in increments going up. So I, I stop at 20, so but we'll still talk about the other ones. But all I got is up to a 20 right now. Um, next is our five dollar bill. See the word five on there. Um, tell me where it's made. Um, has words and numbers and it has a face as well. Tell me the face that's on this one. That's right, Abraham Lincoln. He's our 16th president. And he was actually on one of our coins as well. Comment, first one to comment below. Let me know which coin Abraham Lincoln is on. All right, then we had our $20 bill. Let's see something that I'm noticing on this one. It has numbers on it, and each number is different. I think that's pretty cool that they all have um, different things on the back, on the opposite side of the face. And then on this one, this is Andrew Jackson. And on the back of his is the White House. And then on the Lincoln one is the Lincoln Memorial. Um, I've actually been here. It is really, really nice in person. Um, I went in high school, fun fact. Uh, and then on the back of the $1 bill is the Great Seal of the United States. Oh, I actually skipped one. Y'all let me skip one. Y'all ain't saying that to me. The $10 bill. So on here. That's cool. It's a lot of detail. And then on this one, the, what's the value of this one? 
10, that's correct, $10 bill, value of is 10. Um, and then the name on this one is Alexander uh, Hamilton. He's the uh, first secretary of the treasury. So, you know, somebody's on here that's not a president. And then we'll go to the $50 bill, which I, again, <laughs> sorry, don't have one in front of me. Uh, but that one is the 18th president grant and then on the back is the U.S. Capitol. And then we have Ben Franklin on the $100 bill. Um, and he's on the, on the front, he's an inventor, philosopher, and salesman. And then on the back of the Benjamin, Big Ben, $100 bill, um, is the Ind Independence Hall. So again, let's see where y'all paying attention. What do the big number in each corner stand for? Because each, each corner of each bill has a number. So what does that big number stand for? Right, I see y'all paying attention. Yes, it does stand for the, the value of each bill. So whatever the number is in the corner, that's the value of the bill. So again, this one, um, it's a dollar bill. That's why it's a one in each corner. Corner. This one is the five dollar bill. That's why it's a five dollar, or the value is five. It's a five dollar bill. This one's a ten. That's why it's ten, and the value is ten. And then this one's a twenty. Um, that's why they're twenty, and the value is twenty. So where do you think these bills are made? There's lots of movies about, you know, money, different things um, like that. So unlike the coins, being uh, unlike coins, bills are not made at a mint. Instead, the, the Bureau of Engraving and Printing prints the bills we, where we use in this country. So, um, that's uh, a big difference between, you know, how coins are made and then how bills are made. And the money is stored and then the banks order the money when they need it. So, it's made somewhere, then the banks order it, um, and then it goes from the banks to consumers, which, um, which are us, which um, are people who, you know, go to banks to get the money. So, that could be businesses. It can be um, individual, things of that nature. It could be you could go, you know, get yourself a bank account and go. Okay. So now I want you to, um, if you don't have no one sitting next to you, write down three things that you're going to share with a neighbor or a loved one about what you see on the bills. So... I'm like you. I ain't got nobody in here with me. So I'm going to write down three things that I can share with a name. You can pick any of the bills or what you want to share. So I'm going to pick the $10 bill. So then I'm going to use the $10 bill and I'm going to write down three things that I've noticed um, with my magnifying glass that I can share with someone later on. But you can just pick any bill and then if somebody's with you, um, besides you, engage with them. You know, y'all both take that same bill share three things so i'm gonna I'm a look and then i'm gonna write down three things and then i share what i have and you can let me know in the comments if you saw anything similar or different so
All right. And if you're still writing, um, that's fine. No big deal. Um, you can always, you know, take a pause right now, finish writing, and then push play again if you want to do it like that. So either way, no pressure. So the three things that I uh, wrote down for the $10 bill was that the name of the building was on the back. Thought that was really cool. Um, it has the value written out in the number form. So I like that. It um, has it written out 10. And then it has it. Tens where you can visually see so you can link those two together so the spelling and then in number form and then um, both sides have the same numbers on both sides I like that as well so that's um, a good way to you know make sure values match up so you know we got tens on the front it should be the number 10 on the back so I thought that was pretty cool So, of the four that I have, let's see, you know, I'm always for, you know, add some more questions. So, for the four that I have, <coughs> which bill is worth the uh, worth more? So, recap, I have a $1 bill, five, that I dropped, a five, a 10, and a 20. That's right, $20 bill. And then what's the difference between the bills? Yep, one of the differences is the value, um, the face that's on there, the back that's on there. Okay, what's the same on both bills? So is anything the same? Yep, some of the words are the same. In God we trust, the United States of America, and all having... Um, and all having numbers in the corner. Yep. So what is one thing that you learned about the U.S. bills on today? Okay, okay. I like that. What is something interesting? Oh, excuse me. What is something interesting, unusual, or funny that you saw when you looked um, at each bill? But again, it's something interesting, something unusual, something funny, you know. So, com so coin come in a different size, color, and with different edges and a raised design so that people who can't see or who can't see well can tell them apart. How would you change bills to help people with vision problems? tell them apart so there's nothing no uh, raised or no dots so how would you um, what would you do to help or what would you change about it so that people can tell the bills apart I would say different material um, have a different texture for each one. Um, that way um, you'll get familiar with that texture, um, texture, textile, um, and to tell them apart. But that's just me. But definitely list, uh, list in the comments um, what were some ways that you would do. So what did you see with the magnifying glass that you didn't notice without? So we, if you have a magnifying glass, what did you notice more of that you didn't notice with just the naked eye? For me, it was a, I was able to see more of the small writing, um, even though I do have my contacts on. Um, it was able, I was able to see clearer the very, very tiny writing that, you know, they kind of wanted to be there, but... And I want you just to be all in the beat. So definitely, um, for me, it helped me see the very tiny writing. Because even the naked eye, I'm like, whew, what they say? So that definitely helped. And what would you change about the way these bills look if you were one, one of the ones who had to design them? So if you could change any of these bills, 
um, the look of it, what would you change? All right. All right. Y'all have really thought about this. I'm finding y'all facing to be on some bills. I like that. So for me, um, I would change um, the, the face on some of them and then add more um, types of bills. So we have... You know, the $1 bill, we have the $2 bill, the $5 bill, the $10 bill, the $20 bill, the $50 bill, and the $100 bill. So, we have seven. But, I, you know, spice it up. Maybe, you know, every century or every quarter century, you know, I'll add, you know, a new bill, um, new person, just, you know, showing different milestones that we've had in history. I think that would be kind of cool. So, it could be like, you know, in my time, you know, we had this. Um, event happened and then we got this bill um, just to kind of, you know, evolve with money as we do um, in history. So that would, something I would add. All right, ladies, we're going to do a quick recap um, and then we're going to do a checkout and then we're done. So recap, talked about the value, we talked about uh, the name of each person that's on each video. Um, we talked about some things that stood out, some things that are different, um, things of that nature. So, let's recap. So we have the $1 bill, George Washington. We have the $5 bill, Abraham Lincoln. We have the $10 bill, which is Alexander Hamilton. And then we have the 20, which is Andrew Jackson. I see, yep. So we have the 20 with Andrew, Andrew Jackson. So, similar checkout like we did with the coins. I want you all to use bills to tell me how old you are. So, you'll just say the number, just like, just like on money, you know. I have the number. But um, you're going to tell me in money value how old you are. So, five ones, or two twenties, or one ten, a five, and a one. You know, you're going to just mix it up in as many different ways to get your age. Um, unless you're one. And then there's only just one way when it comes to bills. Um, but let me know. I'll give you two minutes to decide. So, I'll go first. <clears throat> so, I picked that I'm a 20, a 5, and a 1. So, I'm 26. So, again, that's a 5. I mean, that's a 5. 
a 20, and a 1. 26. So, Sharon, the comments, which ones are you? Okay, I see some fives and two ones, seven ones, two fives. All right, all right, I see you ladies. So again, um, I look forward to knowing how you've taken what you've learned today and how you will incorporate that into your everyday um, shopping and spending and saving, as well as um, remember these values. Share, with, share this knowledge with someone else. Um, a good way to make sure you're remembering everything that you're learning, that you're growing, is to take information and then share it with someone else. All right. I hope y'all have a, a great rest of your day. Um, thank you for tuning in with me today when we talked about paper money. Hope you learned something. I hope you're able to apply this. Um, and I hope that this was a great experience for you. Have a great one. Bye.